YouTube. It's your boy Aztec and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the no cash GBA emulator as well as the Pokemon Emerald ROM which is what I use. It's a very simple efficient lightweight process. You don't have to install any heavy clunky software. You'll literally be up and running within two to five minutes just depending on your internet uh, connection speed. So I prefer playing on an emulator for two reasons. The first being I hate playing on a small little screen. It messes up my eyes and to this day I have to wear glasses because when I was a kid I would play Emerald all the time on my Game Boy Advance SP and it just it destroyed my eyes. So be, being able to play on an emulator you can adjust the screen size, you can make it full screen and it's a much better playing experience, a much better viewing experience and it won't put any strain on your eyes. Secondly, I like being able to use cheat codes. I don't really play Emerald for the game itself. I play for the Battle Frontier. So I try to speed through the story as quickly as I can and then I start building up my team. It's a lot better being able to use any kind of cheat code that you want, such as rare candies, master balls, any items, berries. I know you can do it on a handheld, but that's like through, through uh, what was it called, Code Lock or Code Breaker or Game Shark. And it's just a lot simpler on on an emulator to, to enable cheats. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to install two things, the emulator and then again, the ROM itself. So if you look in the description of this video, I posted two links. The first link is to the emulator and it'll take you to nogba.com and it'll take you to this page. You're gonna want to, or I'm sorry, you're gonna wanna scroll down and look at this blue link right here, download NoCash GBA latest version, go ahead and click that. And right away you'll notice the download starting at the bottom left of your screen. You're gonna show on folder or wherever your downloads are kept. Mine is in the uh, default Windows 10 downloads folder. And it's a zipped file, so we're gonna wanna extract all the contents. So you're gonna right click, extract all. This is a matter of preference, but I, I want to save it to my desktop. I just find it to be, uh, it's a lot easier. So select folder and I'm going to extract. And that's it. We just installed the emulator. It's right there. So now we want to install the game. Look at the second link in the description. It's going to take you to this page, gbaroms.net. And all you have to do is press this yellow button, download now. And again, this process is the same for any ROM that you want. Unfortunately, Nintendo, well, the way Nintendo's coding the newer games, like Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, all those games that are meant for like the Wii U, the Nintendo 3DS, those games are unavailable. You're not going to be able to get those games just because, again, the way they code the games these days, it, it's basically impossible to make a ROM out of them. But all the old school like Game Boy Advance games, SP games, all the old school OG Pokemon games, those are all available. If a game was pop popular enough when it was released or if it's like a classic, there is a ROM for it. I guarantee it. Right here, you can see Emerald, you can see um, Mario, Sapphire, Leaf Green, Ruby, Fire Red. And again, it's the exact same process. So just follow what I'm doing for Emerald. And if anything, at the end of this video, vi at the end of this video, I'll show you how to get Fire Red. So you're going to click this yellow download now button. Wait for that to download. That's done. Show in folder again. We're going to extract this as well. So right click, extract all. This is going to my desktop. Extract. And that's it. We just downloaded the game. You can delete this file, 1986 Pokemon Emerald Trash Man. I don't know what that is. We're not going to use it. So now you're going to want to open up the no cache folder. And you're going to drag Pokemon Emerald in. Now that's it. We just installed the emulator and we installed the game. So now we can start up the emulator so we can make sure that it's working. You're going to select Pokemon Emerald. You should hear the music starts to play in the background right now in a bit. There it is. So we're going to mute this And that's it. There's your emulator. Have fun, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm going to show you how to set it up properly. Um, it's a very simple process. But first, I'm going to readjust the screen size because, like I said, I hate playing on a small little tiny screen. So that's simple. You're just going to right or just, I'm sorry, you're going to left click on a corner of the emulator and ju you're just going to drag. This is a good uh, size for me. You can also go full screen if you wanted to. But as you can see, like it'll stretch out the emulator so it doesn't look that good. I'm going to go back to the way I had it. This is good for me. We're going to change two things. You're going to go up into the options up here, uh, top left of the emulator. We're going to go to the emulation setup. And as soon as we're done here, we're going to go into the control setup. In the emulation setup, we're going to change two things, the emulation speed and the sound output mode. But you know what? Let me let me backtrack. This is optional. This is 100% optional. You don't have to do this. This is what I do because I play with music in the background. And again, I play at the Battle Frontier. So... I like speeding through the game. If you've ever had any experience playing playing at the Battle Frontier, you have to go through some of these challenges five to ten times. It can be really time consuming and it's a drag. So what this does, emulation speed, right now it's set to real time auto. 
that sets the speed of the emulator. So right now, it's pretty much playing at the same speed as it would be playing on your handheld device on your Game Boy. I set it to real time times two. And what that does is it's pretty much what it sounds like. It doubles the speed of the emulator. So you'll be able to play through the game a lot faster, a lot quicker. Let me press OK. However, let me unmute this. You'll notice that the sound also got sped up. So for that reason, I'm going back into emulation setup and I'm going to turn off the sound. So in sound output mode, I'm setting it to none. Again, this is 100% optional. You don't have to do this. If you if you enjoy playing on the real time, like the, the, the normal speed, go right ahead. Like you want that authentic GBASP um, experience, go for it. But I like playing with music in the background and I like playing through the game a lot faster. So I'm setting this to real time times two and I'm turning off the sound. Now, this, I would not say that is optional. The, 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 if you notice, look at the, the colors right now, the emulator. It's like really washed. Let me wait for this to load really quick so you can see. That way you can compare. It's like really washed out and grayed. So I want to go back into emulation setup. I'm going to change the GBA mode from GBA SP Backlight to VGA Poppy Bright. And right away, you can tell that the colors are a lot more vivid, a lot more lush. So it, it just looks a lot better. So we're done with the emulation setup, and now we're going to set up the controls. So you're going to want to go back up to here, to back up to the options, and you're going to select control setup. In the controls, we're in the control setup, all we're going to do is we're going to match the keys on your keyboard to the controls in the emulator. Think back to your Game Boy Advance. Every Game Boy came with an A button, a B button, the directional trackpad so you can control your character, left button, right button, select, and the start buttons. It's the exact same thing in the emulator. All you have to do is match them to keys on your keyboard. So for the up button, I'm going to select the arrow keys on my keyboard. So up, down, left, right. For the A button, I'm going to select Z and X. So my A button right now on my keyboard is Z and my B button is X. I recommend that you choose two keys that are right next to each other. It's a lot easier, you know, that way you don't have to stretch your hand out, stretch your fingers out, and it's just a lot uh, easier to play with when, when the keys are right next to each other. Same thing with my select and start buttons. I like to, to put them, um, I assign them to keys that are right next to each other. So forward slash for select, the shift key, the right shift key that's right, that's right next to the, the forward slash, that's gonna be my start button. So select is forward slash, start is right shift. The L and the B buttons I don't ever use in Pokemon Emerald, so this is completely optional. Um, if you're playing a game that requires them, then go ahead and set this to whatever you want. But I'm not going to set these. So I'm done with my controls. I'm going to click OK. The final step is to go back up to Options, and you're going to select this right here, Save Options. This is critical. This is really important. If you don't save your options, you're going to close your emulator. The next time you open it back up, you're going to have to repeat this entire process. You're going to have to go into emulation setup. You're going to have to go into control setup. And you're going to have to redo all of those. So now we're pretty much good. We're done. We're good to go. So I press the Z button on my keyboard, which is the A button on the emulator. It should start the game. There we go. New game. And that's it, guys. It's very simple, very easy. But as I had promised, I'm going to show you also how to download Pokemon Fire Red. So go back into gbaroms.net. If you're still on the same page, um, the one that's showing Emerald, you should be able to see Fire Red right down here. So select that. Same thing, the yellow download now button. It's gonna start downloading right here in the bottom left. That's done, show in folder. I'm gonna extract this to my desktop. And that's it, it's right here on my desktop. So I'm gonna open up the no cache folder, drag that into here. Open up no cache again, but this time I'm going to select Fire Red. And as you can tell, no cache saved my settings from last time. The screen size is where I had left it. The emulator sped up by two. And that's it. Very simple, very easy. I'm going to press the Z key again on my keyboard to start the game. And boom, you're good to go. Very, 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 very easy. That installation took us what? Like tops, maybe five minutes. And that's because I was talking and walking you through it. And that's it, guys. Again, very easy process. Please go ahead and leave a like on this video if it helped you out in any way. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos for Pokemon as well as some Fortnite videos. Uh, me and my partner, Exclusive Hooper, were actually pretty good on the Xbox One. We're good on the sticks. We were number one on game battles for the uh, Fortnite Duos ladder. But recently, we dropped down to number three just because two teams, they've been playing more than we have, and they, they, uh, they hopped us over. But... 
again, please don't forget to leave a like. And in the comments, let me know what you want to see in the future, what you don't want to see. I'm also thinking of remaking my previous videos. I know I made a video for cheat codes, how to uh, all these different cheat codes like rare candies, master balls, so on and so forth uh, on Pokemon Emerald, the emulator. Let me know if you want to see that as well as I also made another video for how to trade between two games. So let's say you download Emerald and you download Fire Red and you want to trade between your two games. I made a video for that, but it is kind of outdated. I know people were mentioning in the comments that the audio quality was really bad it was really low and hard to hear so just let me know if you want to see that and yeah that's it for this video guys i'll see you in the next one youtube peace